what we do at the garden is produce vegetables for those in need. The Bounty Garden is an organic garden and our mission is twofold. In addition to providing fresh organic produce to those that need it, we also provide education on organic gardening practices. My name is Connie Adelson and I first met Sandra when I joined the Bounty Garden a year ago and um, I've only been involved in a very short time but it was evident right away that she is kind of the guiding light, she and her husband both, for our garden. I really didn't take to gardening until I moved to Alamo. Uh, I was raised at a shore community and we didn't have a lot of land for gardening. I didn't know anything about gardening and my husband was on the Alamo Municipal Advisory Council and he uh, listened to a presentation by the garden's founders when they were looking to uh, find a place for the garden. So we became aware of the idea of the garden uh, at its inception. And after it was uh, thriving for three or four years, uh, my husband and I looked at what they were doing and we thought, oh my gosh, their produce is far more lush and green and beautiful than what we're growing at home in our own garden. So we actually applied to volunteer at the garden just like anyone else would. And we uh, started volunteering in 2017. From then on, we just got closer and closer to what the garden actually uh, is all about. Um, and we took on several roles, and uh, most recently, uh, two years ago, we took on the role of co-director. I knew the original founder of the garden, and um, they moved out of the area, and I kind of wondered what would happen with the garden. They did a tremendous thing for our community, both Sandra and Mike, by stepping up and organizing us. They've made a lot of changes to the garden and the website that have been upgrades and just put in a lot of their heart and soul. And I, I think that people like that need to be recognized for what they do. To be able to put this, this produce in a in a bin and take it to White Pony Express. I did it just Monday morning and it makes you just feel good when you drop it off and they say, thank you, this is so beautiful. Um, if you take them a head of lettuce, they'll tell you it'll be on somebody's table that evening. So it's, it goes from the garden in the morning to somebody's table and it's very, very rewarding. What makes Sandra special in my mind is that she's always there as a guiding light for all of us in the garden. Uh, she and her husband are very detail-oriented. They keep us on track. We know which week we need to do our cover crops, which week we need to prune, when we need to pull our produce, if it's sitting on the vine, and get it in the cool box to go to White Pony Express. Not a lot of people have that leadership skill to keep this many volunteers working together and, and making a difference. The Bounty Garden produces 2,000 pounds or so a year. That was in the past. We're hoping with our expansion, we'll increase that by several um, hundred pounds. Uh, we have uh, brought in some new practices at the garden in the last few years where we're, we're doing things to provide a more sustainable approach to our gardening. Where do I find my passion and motivation? Um, I think it comes from just getting out and doing something. Uh, sometimes we feel so helpless when you look at big problems, social problems, and even though what we provide may, might be just a small um, amount of the food that is, uh, goes through food banks in this county, every little bit helps. And I think it's that feeling of each one of us on a small way doing our own part can solve big problems. It's just amazing how many uh, individuals that are right next to us in the park will wander through the garden and everybody that walks through that gate feels the sense that something special is going on at the Bounty Garden.